So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a perfect 90 degree corner with two different profile square tubing without leaving a big gap there and without having to use 45 degree angles. Well, all too often, um, what people would regular, regularly do when they want to join two uh, different sizes or, or, or profiles of square tubing together on the corner like that, a 90 degree corner, what most people will most of the time do, uh, all too often, without even realizing it, is cut two 45 degree angles like this. Um, that would be on each pipe, two 45 degree angles, which would you would think it makes sense, but because obviously two 45 degree angles would make a 90 degree angle. But like you can see, this obviously will not be the ideal joint. This will still be a 90 degree joint, like we can see over there but there is this huge gap in the middle, which is not ideal. So what is the correct way of joining these two together then? Well, the, the correct way is quite simple actually. We'll turn these around and get the different corners. So what we want is a joint like that. So first what we'll do is we'll just make sure that this is 90 degrees. We'll put a right angle, a square angle there in the corner. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mark that space where the smaller piece uh, joins together with the larger piece and then we're going to move this over here um, presuming of course that this is a square cut but for the purpose of this we're just going to put a square there to make sure that it is correctly cut or that it is square and then we're going to make a mark the width of the bigger piece on the smaller diameter of the small piece as well now this might sound a bit complicated, but from here on out, it's fairly simple. All we need to do now is then, from this mark we made up until the opposite corner, which is going to be the exact corner of the 90 degree, we're going to draw a line like this. And the same on the bigger piece, we're going to draw a line from the mark up until the opposite corner, which is going to be the 90 degree corner, like that. And we are then going to cut these two pipes on those marks and we will we'll then see if this odd angle cut would make a perfect 90 degree corner. Right, so like you saw, we just uh, cut those two angles on the marks set with the permanent marker. You can still see the marks on the tubing on the other side. It's just a bit cleaner on the side, so I'm just going to do this. We're going to put them roughly together like that. We're going to take, move this up a bit, take a 90 degree angle like this, put them together and look at that. A much nicer, cleaner corner, still 90 degrees exactly. And look at this clean joint that you've got here on the corner now. No gaps in between anything and you can just neatly weld this up now together. And it would make a nice 90 degree corner without any gaps or anything of the sort. Nice straight edges that you can cut. And this was easy like you just saw on the previous one. I merely took the angle grinder, drew some lines and cut it straight on. There might be a slight half a millimeter gap there but well if you put it at a 90 degree angle like this and weld it up, it would be a perfect 90 degree square. Well, if you do like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Also, if you wish to support my channel, please have a look at the super thanks icon down below. So until next time guys, keep DIYing.